Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Watts with this News 5 update. We've learned the names of the six people who were shot and killed early Sunday morning at a mobile home park on the southeast side of the Springs. A family member who left the party before the shooting tells CNN Melvin and Mayra Perez, Jana Cruz, Jose Gutierrez and Sandra and Jose Ibarra all lost their lives. Officials have not confirmed the victims names to us yet. Springs Police providing an update on the investigation tomorrow afternoon. There's been a change to a walk up COVID-19 vaccination clinic planned for Wednesday in Manitou Springs. Due to weather conditions, the location has been moved from the Econo Lodge to City Hall. The clinic scheduled from 5 to 9 Wednesday night. No appointment, no health insurance, no identification is required. Parking along Memorial Park will be free during the clinic. Academy District 20 offering new guidance on mask expectations for elementary school students. The district superintendent sent a message to families saying masks will continue to be required through Friday, May 21st, unless a student has a medical release. But starting Monday, May 24th, students will not be required to wear masks at school sponsored activities like summer school or summer camps. Governor Polis has signed into, the, into law the so-called human composting bill. It allows the conversion of human remains to basic elements within a container using an accelerated process or natural reduction. It would be added to statutes that currently regulate funeral establishments and would allow people to plant trees, for example, with their loved ones remains. It also has a provision that allows the disposal of abandoned remains if they're not claimed in six months. Elizabeth, the middle of May is feeling more like the middle of March. We've got snow and it is piling up across parts of the Pikes Peak region by early morning. Here's how much you can expect across the viewing area in Colorado Springs, anywhere from one to four inches up to six across Monument, up to six in Teller County and Woodland Park as well. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.